Did you know? Did you know? Sleep statistics. Now this is important. This is pretty serious. Did you know that sleep is necessary for our physical and mental health? But very few know how important it really is. Well, I feel most people kind of ignore it and I think they take it for granted. Don't you think so? Did you know that some compare sleep deprivation to alcohol intoxication? And it may be helpful to think of it that way. Hmm. Why would it be helpful to think of it that way? Did you know that we dream four to six times per night but forget 95 to 99 percent of our dreams the next morning? Wow, that's a lot of effort, isn't it? I mean, imagine losing or forgetting 95 to 99 percent. I wish I can remember at least about, okay, let's put a number to it, 50 percent. Did you know that our body temperature drops by a degree or two during the night? So it feels perfectly normal to feel a bit chilly and grab that thick blanket you wouldn't normally get into at the beginning of the night. Did you know that the American Psychology Association says that sleeping 60 to 90 minutes more than what you currently are per night can make you happier and healthier? Well, that depends on how much you're sleeping right now, isn't it? Suppose I'm sleeping about 8 to 10 hours. That's going to be a little bit too much, isn't it? Did you know that we have two types of sleep stages every night? It's not that one is enough. It's not that we have just one type of sleep called as NREM, non-rapid eye movement sleep, but we have another called as REM or rapid eye movement sleep. Of these two sleep stages, REM sleep constitutes 20% of our total sleep time while the remaining 80% are non-NREM or NREM sleep stages. Did you know that 54.1% of adults prefer to sleep in the fetal position while 37.5% sleep on their backs even though it's the healthiest position? So. Even though it's the healthiest position, I reckon, is the fetal position. Did you know that in 1942, Americans had 7.9 hours on average sleep hours per night, compared to 6.8 hours in 2013, which is a 13% decrease in sleep hours. Wow! That is huge. Now, 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 you got to listen to this. Did you know that falling asleep takes on an average 10 to 15 minutes? So if you fall asleep or if you pass out within a few minutes, it means that you are sleep deprived. Did you know that the lack of sleep costs the United States over $411 billion annually? according to the Fortune magazine. Did you know that according to the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, 35% of adults don't get enough sleep. So I'm talking about at least 7 hours of sleep per day. Now, according to the NCBI, the National Center for Biotechnology Information, 40% of people aged 40 to 59 reported that they are getting less than the recommended amount of sleep. I wonder whether they really know how much is the recommended amount of sleep. So uh, now let's get to the teenagers. 20% of teenagers get less than 5 hours of sleep while average amount is 6.5 hours. Now this is according to the Scientific American. 
this is interesting the centers for disease control and prevention reports that people with a college degree or higher have the most sleep 72 percent i'm talking about while unemployed or those unable to work have much lower you know sleep that is 51 and 60 percent respectively this is kind of strange because i thought people who have a college degree will probably have lesser sleep than people who are unemployed or unable to work this is serious stuff so did you know that healthy sleep duration is more common among married people at 67 percent and lower in those who were never married at 62 percent or who were divorced, separated, or widowed at 56%. Did you know that according to the NCBI, 37% of people aged between 20 and 39 reported short sleep duration? So the conversation goes this way. Hello? Is that the NCBI? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, I'm 22 years old and I'm not getting enough sleep and the NCBI says hmm that's okay they expected that 